How's it going guys? We are here at the very beautiful Taj Samudra where we'll be having a quick chat with the famous designers of Sri Lanka that have collaborated together to start something called the Brides and Grooms of Sri Lanka Reimagined. My name is Amanta Pereira and I'll see you on the other side. Hey guys, I'm here with one of the biggest names of the fashion industry, Ramani Fernando. So Ramani, how many months in advance should a potential bride consult you? Uh, well, that depends. Uh, sometimes they book you a year ahead, two years ahead, or maybe six months, three months. So there's no time limit, but uh, from that, whenever it's booked, we we'll work from that time onwards. And is a trial an option or is it mandatory? That too, I leave it to the bride, but still... I mean, I would say it's it's on my part. I I would prefer a trial because some of them are not used to that much of makeup or hairdos, updos, and all that. So it's always better for them to know what they're going to get at the end of the day. And uh, how do you decide which look suits the client the best? Um, I suppose that also will say comes with experience, maybe. And but I would always, um, you know try to get what they like as well so that you you work around that you know after all it's their day so so it's always good to get their input and work around it you know uh, how long have you been in the industry for i've been in the industry now for over 40 years yeah. that's a long time long time <laughs> yes okay. so uh, what do you think about this event i think it's a very very good idea that uh, I, I, I presume it's Asanka who came up with the idea and I think it's really good. I mean, people like us in the industry are just waiting to get busy and, you know, of course now bridals and all are coming on and the salons are also getting busier, but it's not like what it was, right? So it's really, I mean, good to have something like this going, you know. Especially after the whole COVID situation. Yeah, yeah, this is what I mean. After COVID, we need something, we cannot, yeah, I mean, life has to go on, no? so it's... Uh, I love people when they you know come up with ideas like this. We all need it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much and we wish you the best of luck. I'm here with Rishad Rahim, another famous fashion designer. So tell me, what do you think about this event? Um, I was very excited uh, coming to work with this whole team because it's like one of my most inspired team who have come into this. And it's actually my privilege in getting to work with such tycoons in the fashion industry. And uh, could you tell me a little bit about your brand? Uh, well, I've been in this business for some time, but uh, it's the first time I'm getting into uh, retailing and uh, custom made clothes of bridal and ethnic bridal wear. And uh, could you describe your brand in just one sentence? Uh, well, that's a bit of a hard question, but uh, well, I just move with the trend and always remember my culture and customs. And uh, what was your inspiration behind every design you've made? So, uh, well, I was allocated uh, two Muslim, uh, rather three Muslim brides and uh, three Hindu brides. So I wanted to bring the diversity of our country into it. So that's what three of my Muslim brides have inspired. One as a Malay bride and then the other two is I wanted to break the traditional bridal, Muslim bridal way of covering the heads and bringing their hairs out. And the Hindu brides I've inspired from the Tamil Nadu movie scene, so got inspired with that. And uh, uh, I wanted to use like uh, proper silk fabric, so I've like got uh, hold of a good person who supplies good saris and uh, worked with her to get uh, the Kanjipurams and the Banari silks. Uh, what role does social media play in your line of work, especially after the whole COVID situation? Oh, uh, social media is playing a very big role at the moment because I think that is the only thing which people are spending most of their time when they are on lockdown. So that's, I think, it is playing a big role in it. 
Thank you so much and we wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Pleasure is mine actually. Hey guys, I'm here with Ramona Oshini right now. So first of all, what do you think about the event? Um I think it's fantastic. Uh during this time where all the designers get together to do a project like this. Uh I don't think it has been done a photo shoot where a lot of designers collaborated uh with one brand. So it's really exciting. Uh, what was the inspiration behind your design? Um uh, my inspiration actually what I wanted to do was introduce a new bridal look. uh that's what i was working on uh i didn't want it to be too traditional so i was br- bringing in uh different pastel tones uh different silhouettes so that the bride can look different rather than going through the same look as always uh, how many months does this usually take for you to design a, uh, an outfit so normally brides coming uh one year six months at that time period um uh, if they are abroad of course two years ahead uh but uh these sort of projects we do of course we fast track it uh but normally something like this takes about 3 to 6 months uh, could you tell me a little bit about your brand so my brand originally we were only concentrated on occasion wear and ready to wear but then i kind of uh, focused a little bit on bridal but then the feedback was quite good so we ended up uh, concentrating more on bridals so now last year was our 10th year in business and uh, it has been a really nice journey interesting journey Uh, could you describe your brand in one sentence? Elegant. Uh what is fashion like post covid? So post covid uh people have changed their way of thinking. Um comfort has always come in front more than anything else. Uh but now I can feel people kind of gotten bored of did that so now they are again uh trying out new outfits, uh more into color and uh trying to try different things in fashion. And uh, finally what role does social media play with your line of work? Immense. Like social media I think uh is an avenue where all of us can you know spread the word within seconds uh about our brand and I think that is amazing. And what are the things that inspire you when you're making any design? My inspiration I it derives from uh what surrounds me. Um so whenever even if I'm marketing or you know in a restaurant I get inspired. So I keep it in my head. and jot it down and then use it for the next project amazing thank you so much and we wish you the best of luck thank you so much I'm here with Ashwini Radha right now so could you tell me what was the role you played in today's event So today I helped with the styling of the brides um so basically like how the outfits are put together the pieces um the jewelry and the hair and a little bit of the makeup of you know cuz most like indian slash hindu brides uh the makeup is very different uh from like the local like sri lankan stuff So yeah just helping around with the styling and accessorizing of the brides. Also how long have you been in the industry for as a makeup artist? So um a bit over a year. I just started but um I've I've done more Hindu brides um and I think that's kind of more my specialty because I'm half Indian as well. So um very familiar with you know the customs and the traditional stuff. Yeah. Also is a trial mandatory or an option for the bride? Group. Well, I think a trial is mandatory for a bride because then as a makeup artist and a stylist you kind of get to see what they want and the type of look and feel and also like I also feel that if you do makeup like on a face, uh the second time round it kind of is easier for the makeup artist and the client because 
you're more comfortable that you know your preferences rather than just going there on the day and you know starting like also what do you think about this whole concept of having many designers come together and collaborate and organize something like this i think it's great because uh, you know everyone gets to showcase you know all their talents and everything i think it's an amazing opportunity we wish you the best of luck and thank you so much I'm here at the Taj Samudra with Mr. Pankaj Sampath, uh, the area director and general manager of the Taj Samudra. Hello, hello, Mr. Hello, hello, Hasho. Good to good to have you with us, and thank you for coming over to meet us today and uh, spend some time with us. It's really nice of you. Not at all. It's totally our pleasure because because the Taj Samudra were very gracious in hosting the first day of this. Marathon ma mammoth uh, fashion shoot by Lovi Ceylon and various different designers and brides and the Taj were very nice in supporting us with this. As you know, Mr. Sampath, I mean, the arts always get hit first when there is a crisis like COVID. Um, are things better now at the hotel? Are things picking up? So with this, with this uh, fashion shoot, at least there was a lot of vibrancy at the hotel, and I really thought it was nice that it was organized in different hotels and. Sri Lanka because that's what needs impetus at this point in time and with this fashion shoot I think uh, at least there was a lot of vibrancy and a lot of movement that happened at the hotel and it was it was it felt good and hopefully it will have repercussions in the sense that this program will be out on air uh, uh, throughout and so on and as, as always people do have to get married whether whether covid or no covid marriage will go on life will go on Mr. Pankaj Sampath, thank you so much indeed again and, and thank you for hosting us. Thank you.